Hello friends, how are you all? I am back with a new video today. So today we will control our bike with the help of a Android phone. So this project is same as that of the video we have made related to the smart home. So if you haven't watched that video, you can check it out the video in the i button over there. So this project is very easy one. So you just need to have some basic knowledge related to the wiring diagram of bike. If you are not acquainted with this uh, wiring diagram of bike, I suggest you people to take the help of your local mechanic. So let's get started how this works. So this is the circuit diagram that I have explained in a tutorial video that you can find the link on the i button over the right top corner. So as you can see the black colored box is the bike alarm system. So this is of no use right now. So we have used only the male pin of this alarm system to get all the ignition and uh, starter wires. So as you can see the red colored wire is 12 volt VCC supply and black colored wire is ground wire. And this is the 4 channel relay board and this is the vo voltage regulator uh, that, that is provided with the 12 volt supply. Uh, which uh, generates a 5 volt from the 12 volt supply and this is a simple mobile pin charger that is connected to the ESP8266 Wi-Fi module that is V1 mini port so from here we have uh, the 4 wires that is the GPIO pin to the relay board which helps in driving this relay board and the, as you can see the black colored wire is uh, for grounding purpose you need to connect all the black colored wires to the battery of the bike so what we will do is we will uh, use a switch which is connected in series with the battery so that we can turn on the system at any time and uh, turn off when it is off maybe. So hello guys, so now we are going to demonstrate this device how it works. So let's get started, we will be installing this device into our bike. So let's go guys, skip. So first of all we need to remove this uh, uh, seat cover. All the connection parts are uh, present within this seat.
red color one. So this red red color part is the uh, starter relay. So as I have uh, shown in my tutorial, this is the starter relay. You need to take a positive terminal from here to the relay board, and uh, and for the ignition coil. As you can see, this red color wire. This goes to the ignition coil. So this goes from here. So this is the ignition coil, or that. So you need to connect a terminal to this uh, thin wire. That is a positive wire of this coil. And uh, for uh, connecting the indicators. You need to uh, check a yellow colored wire that goes from here to the back portion of the bike. As you can see, I'm inserting the key into it, and when I turn on uh, the ignition key, this indicator uh, lights up. And when I press this button, this is the self start button. So as you can see, the bike has started. So now we will do all this process without a key. Uh, so first of all, we need to. Uh, Switch on the hotspot as per the uh, ID is Santa and uh, password is Santa Manu as per the Arduino code. So the hotspot is turned on. Now we will switch on the power power to the device. Okay. So now as you can see, one device is now connected. Now we will switch on our Android app that we have developed. So as you can see, this is the IP address of our Wemos D1 Mini. So you can change as per your uh, IP address by simply uh, editing this portion. So this is the ignition key. You can tap on it or you can simply uh, speak by clicking this button. First of all, we will remove this key. Ignition on. Ignition on. So as you can see, the ignition uh, LED bulb is on. Now, Come on. engine start. Engine started. So the engine is started now. So now, if, now my friend will demonstrate. You can uh, ride without a key also. So the bike can be driven with the without a key also. So now I will uh, try to turn off the bike. So now we will switch off the bike. Come on. Ignition off. Ignition off. So by simply command process you can uh, switch on the bike and uh, switch off the bike. So thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video please do hit like button and share it with your friends. So if you have some suggestions or doubts related to this video please do comment in the comment section below. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell button to get the latest updates because I will be making some other videos uh, related to this project the tutorial of this project and the circuit diagrams and the course that I have used so stay tuned to this project so see you in the next tutorial video so till then stay creative and be innovative guys thanks for watching the video I'm in love with the cold.